Hey everybody, this is Henry. How's it going? Listen, no, I'm not in London, but I am filming this from my home in Connecticut, and I just wanted to share some training with you on how you can get more leads for your business, especially if you're in the travel industry. Stick around, because it's going to be good. All right, everyone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a brand new funnel using Facebook Messenger combined with ManyChat. Now, if you don't know anything about ManyChat, this is a place that you can go to to collect subscribers. Okay, it's called ManyChat.com. It's totally free. There's also an upgraded paid section of it, but I'm using the free one, and you can you you can do that as well. So this is how to get names on Facebook. Okay, on ManyChat for free. So what the first thing that you need to do if you don't already have a Facebook page. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do. You want to feature a Facebook page that's going to feature what your business is about, whatever your niche is. You can go right here to create, go into page, follow all the instructions. I'm not going to go step by step on how to create a page. That's not what this training is about. But that's where you would go if you don't already have a Facebook page. Okay, so since now I have a Facebook page up and running on my own here, the next thing I would do is I would come over here and I would create an ad okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit through this you wanna create a Facebook ad that is going to connect with your Facebook page okay so the first thing I do is I go and I click on create ad and the, the first item right here is traffic you're trying to collect traffic so I'm gonna click on that once you get down to the page here, now you need to name your your campaign. Okay, so I'm just going to say this one's a test. You can name it whatever you want. Test traffic for travel. Okay, that's what mine is. And then my, my, my daily budget is whatever you want to spend. Okay, for me... We're just going to keep it at $5 a day. Okay? That's what we're going to do. We hit continue. Also, the ad set name, I like to keep that name the same thing. Okay? Now, in this box here where you see traffic, the one thing that we want to do is we don't want to send our traffic to a website we want to send them to messenger this way you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people on messenger to keep them informed of whatever your whatever your product or service is about so that's what I want we want to be able to see who's clicking on our ads and who's becoming new subscribers now you can do whatsapp you can do the website if you want to send them directly there, but I like to know who's visiting my website before they get to my website. Okay, so this is going to be a simple training here. Next thing I do is you want to come down here and what countries do you want to target? Okay, right now the United States is already, already entered as a default. So you can go ahead and select other countries okay I'm adding Canada I'm adding Puerto Rico okay and we'll just stop right there you can add as many countries as you want there okay then you go ahead and you decide what's your age what's your target age that you're going after are you going after men women or both and then you can put a language in here okay so once you have that set up, now the next thing I do is save the audience. Okay, so it says I'm targeting people from Canada, Puerto Rico, and the United States between the age groups of 21 to 65 in English. Alright, so we save that. And you can do whatever you want with this. Okay? You can target different countries. Alright, so now we're in this section right here we want to keep the placements the same automatic placements and then I like to know 
that I'm getting, I'm, I am not going to want impressions, I want link clicks. I'm going to pay for people, when people click, okay, on the link, okay. Once, and then run my ad continuously starting today, or you could set, you know, if you want to run your ad for seven days, you click that, and then you can select the start and the end date. All right, so I'm just going to say I want to run my ad continuously, and then I can just monitor it daily if I want to. Again, the next step here, I'm going to keep this exactly the way I had it before, test traffic. That's good, okay? Now, this section here where it says identity, this is where you're going to join your this is where you're going to marry your Facebook page to this ad. So in this case, I'm looking to go to that one. Okay, so that's, that's the page I started out at, which is this page, Dream Builder Travel. That's my, fan, that's my, my, uh, my page. Okay, so you can select from the drop-down. It should show all the pages that you have. Okay, and if you have an Instagram account, uh, you can actually go ahead and select that one if you want traffic to come from Instagram. Next up, single image. You can select the single image. And you hit upload image. So you hit that, and you can get to to a uh, any type of picture I'm just gonna put something anything in here for right now let's see let's try that one let's see if that went through okay so yeah it's 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 taking a little bit of time to load that picture in there so once you select the image then you can go ahead and start connecting the dots here you want to create a title right the headline okay that's gonna come down there above here is the text which is gonna be the the attraction for why people should click on your link okay um, I'm just going to quickly put down learn how to travel at wholesale prices. Okay. So that will go there. Is there a problem with this picture? Maybe I should select another picture. Let me try another picture. Let's try another picture. For some reason that one didn't come through yet. Um, let's see. Come down here. Pictures. Let's put anything in here. Let me see. That'll work. Uh, move. Move there now. Okay. Hang on a second. All right. So now, once, once I select the age, group, and gender. In this case, I'm just going to say all and then I selected the language okay the next step is to put in who you are targeting you can go to suggestions and you can go to browse course, what I usually do is you know I'll put down interests you know you can put down people who um, let's say I'm just gonna do this real quick here hobbies and activities travel okay and I can I can select everything that deals with travel here you, you'll be doing something different whatever your niche is okay so I'm just gonna select a few of these and hotels okay that's good enough just to give you an idea so this is exactly who, who you're gonna be targeting with your ad okay save that audience Alright, so there's the people who are, are I'm targeting 
in the English language, the age group, and the countries. Save that. Okay. Then you hit continue. All right. Again, now you're on the add name here. We're going to just make this the same. Test traffic. Okay, this is just an example here. Now, you need to tie this to your Facebook page. And something's glitching you today with uh, the Facebook. So I'm just going to type it in. It should show up. Okay, there it is. Usually it comes right up. It's like on a drop-down menu. It'll show all of your Facebook pages. So that's what I'm going to target. That's where I want my subscribers to go to is be attracted to that page. Okay, the next step is to create a single image. So you go down, you, you select upload images, and in this case, uh, let's see, I'm just going to pick a quick picture here. Uh, this is a good one here. And that should, that should load it. Hopefully. Alright, the next thing is you want to put in some text. Alright. So that's going to be at the top of the ad. Then you have a headline. All right, so. I don't know why the picture is not showing up. Usually that picture is already uploaded. But that picture will show when it's ready to when it's ready to go. Now the next thing is you can change this button right here. It says send message. If you want to change it to something else, you just click there. Apply now, book now, contact us. You know, so I usually put learn more. That shows up there, right? And then uh, yeah, that's fine. Then I will come down here and just make sure that your fake Facebook pixel is in there. You should have a Facebook pixel. You can add that to your website. An instant experience to report conversions, see activity, build audiences for ad targeting. All right. Then what I do is I will come down here. And if you want, you can create these questions, you can change these questions to anything you want. All right? So you can edit the message by here and then change right in here what you want, the questions if you want. When somebody clicks on your ad, they're going to get these three questions and they'll click on one of them. Okay? Plus you have a text greeting. So that will be their name in there. Hi, so-and-so. Please let us know how we can help you. This is generic. You can change that to anything you want. And the same thing with these frequently asked questions, okay? Or you can just click this one, and, the, and then you can set up on ManyChat your greetings, and then they'll get those types of greetings. I like to use, you know, these questions. I'll change them up for different ads. But that's basically it. I mean, you can edit the message and everything. Then you, can, you hit Confirm, and... Once you get a confirmation on uh, your, your, your email that the ad is up and running, the next step will be to click on Ads Manager. Okay, once the ad is complete, you got the picture you wanted, the words, the title, everything set up the way you want, your budget. In this case, it was doing $5 a day. Next thing, you go to Ads Manager right here. Okay.
Now in Ads Manager, okay, you're going to find, you're going to find the ad that you just created, okay? And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go and publish. You need to publish that new ad, okay? Now that particular ad will show up on your Facebook page okay that particular ad will show up on your Facebook page and then you can actually attract people to your Facebook page and then they'll see the ads and you can get leads that way okay but that way you know it's 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 up and running you'll get a confirmation that your your ad is good it's been approved but you have to do the ads manager that way that gets anybody now who clicks on that link on that ad they're going to show up on many chat okay so i'm going to show you i have several different pages here and i'm going to go to the the one that i just built which was on dreamboat to travel okay so on the dashboard right here i haven't had anything um, active for a while, so I've been on 413 subscribers for for a little bit. Okay, but here you click on here, you're going to be able to see your audience. All right, you can actually do live chat from here. What I like to do is broadcasting. Broadcasting is cool. It's just like Aweber, get response. You're sending out, you know, this week or maybe you you want to send out one or two. Messenger, messengers to the whole subscriber group and they'll all get it together and there you see alright and this one here this message 413 it's sent to 174 people read so that's 50, 56% opens and then I have seven people actually clicked on on my uh, on my ad here okay so that shows you right here is a video that I created for YouTube and seven people actually clicked on it which is good so you're getting you're getting uh, traffic going I'm getting traffic going to my YouTube channel as well as connecting with people on Facebook um, the other thing is you can set up automation alright you can when somebody becomes a brand new subscriber you can create a sequence okay in this case I got an English sequence and a Spanish sequence you can do pre-recorded messages that will go out automatically like I set one up immediately and then when somebody clicks on my ad they get an immediate message and then they'll get one the next day and then another one the next day and another one the next day you can set these up to as many messages as you want that way it keeps people in, in you know you're getting you're giving them information you're educating them and you're keeping them in the loop you know this is how you follow up with people but the main thing is you can actually on Facebook Messenger connect through your page right here this is my page hang on and you go to inbox so anytime you get anytime you get a notification you go right here in your inbox boom you can connect with people this way okay so you can you can connect with people through through the Facebook page inbox or you can connect with them through using the many chat feature which is up here which is live chat right there so either way, you can do it both ways. And that's basically exactly how you would set up a funnel using Facebook Messenger, tied together with ManyChat, and you get to know exactly who clicked on your ad, exactly who's you know, who you're talking to. You can get sometimes you'll get to see where they're from. Sometimes they pop up and it doesn't show location, but it's usually from the countries, whatever countries that you targeted. All right. Sometimes you'll get some residual traffic. Somebody just happened to look at, you know, an ad from somewhere else and, and that ad was just kind of floating around somewhere else and they, and they, and they found you. 
but the majority of the times you're targeting people from whatever countries that you put in there. Okay? So, I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. If you have any other questions, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like and share so that way I can connect with you and provide more information on how to get some more traffic for your business and to help you get more leads. Okay? That's the most important thing. Once you have leads, you can get more sales, more signups. So that's it, my friends. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can get some more video information from me. I'd love to hear from you too in the comments. Thank you. Take care.